this year, pap boy. And I have something very special in my hands. I come to you today with all the progression and regression sliders. That's right, every single attribute, every single phase, it's all here. So if you're like I was and you're tired of, you know, you get a few seasons in and seemingly every single roster is stuffed with 85 overalls and higher, and now the whole player pool is watered down, ratings are cheapened, star players no longer stand out like they should, like they do in real life, you're tired of all that and then you've come to the right place. Thanks, right, I got everything, and believe me, it's a lot, but I got it all. I got everything we need to put a stop to all that and keep everything under control, keep it realistic, and to maintain balance. Okay, here we go. Now, as you might imagine, I have uh, just an insane amount of data um, for this, but well, let me give you the bottom line, give you what you need to know. Okay, so when I got started, what I did, um, I calculated the average overall rating per team. Okay, and I could see that every team in the league had an average overall rating somewhere between 74 and 77. Now, with the settings on default, after just five seasons, that range there, 74 to 77, has already gone up. Now, every team in the league has an average overall rating of at least 78 and a half. And it goes up to as high as 81 and a half. Okay, then I went out another five years, so we're 10 seasons out. And of course, that went up again. And now we got every team in the league having an average overall rating of at least 82. And it goes all the way up to some teams being as high as 85. So you obviously see our problem here. It just gets out of control fast. It just screws up, I don't know, everything. <sighs> ridiculous but okay now once I instituted my final settings started from that same starting point I went five seasons out again and guess what we still have balanced rosters now some teams had an average overall rating that was you know pretty much the same as what they had five seasons ago and others improved you know by just like one or two points and there were some that were one or two points lower and then going out five more years of 10 seasons, it's pretty much the same thing. I think the most improved team was like plus three to their average overall rating. And then a couple teams that declined the most were, they were right around minus three. And then we had the rest of the team scattered, you know, between those two points. Perfect. We now got sustainable balance, you know, over the league as a whole. And then also within each team. Beautiful. Okay, now when it comes to the individual player attribute progression here, I really think the best approach is to, to just kind of look at the big picture because, you know, no matter what settings you use, the game's just going to kind of pick random times to just kind of decide, you know, okay, this player's going to break out this year or this player is just not going to last very long. He's, he's not going to be able to sustain his level of play. He's going downhill fast. It's kind of just it's pick random guys at times. It's just, I don't know, it's in the algorithms and, you know, the, the player DNA thing they have, the uh, player's potential rating, of course. It's all those things kind of intertwining and, you know, it just gives you those outcomes. Okay, so when you see a guy like, uh, here we go, Thomas Welsh. Plus nine. <laughs> uh, clearly the game just made a decision there. This guy's gonna break out this year. Gonna happen. And really the settings you use have very little impact on that type of thing. And it's fine. You can make some sense out of it. It's not a common occurrence or anything like that. It's not like we got dudes just randomly dropping off a cliff. You know, as far as the regression. Um, yeah, here we go. Like we got guys like Westbrook. Um, Eric Bledsoe. Uh, it's just the nature of it. Guys like that, their games are not going to age as well as, like, you know, Steph and Clay. All right? That's the way it should be. It's the way it is. Obviously, there's certain attributes that should and will decline more than others as players age. That's what's going to happen here. Pretty simple. So, you know, the moral of the story, bottom line, there's a lot of nuance within the individual player development. I wouldn't get too wrapped up in it because, you know, for the most part, that's a good thing. There's always going to be outliers, but... You know, we just want overall, we want balance and realism 
and that's exactly what we're gonna get with these settings and clearly we got a lot of numbers we're working with here so I'm not gonna like make you sit here and write them down as you're watching so if you're on PS4 they are available for download they're under my tag the underscore pop boy and the set's gonna be called the pop boy my league and just so you know, when you download that set, the other My League settings that we've already done in the series, like the trade sliders, contract sliders, those are already adjusted in that set, so they'll be included in there also. Everything we've done in this series to date. And by the way, if you missed any of those, I'll put the full playlist link in the description for you. So you want to check that out if you missed it. Now, for any other platform, you're just going to go to my channel, click on the About section, and scroll down to the very bottom. All right, my friends, there we go. Uh, check it out, plug it in, enjoy, tell me what you think in the comments, or if you have a question, I'm here for you. Uh, pop that like button if you enjoyed, if you found this video useful. We're going to keep going. We got um, an update to the gameplay sliders coming up. I'm working on defensive settings, uh, points of emphasis, as you may have seen on Twitter. But yeah, hop on board, sub to the channel if you haven't yet. Hit those uh, notifications on, of course. Keep yourself up to date. I'm going to be seeing you guys. I'll be right back here real soon with the next edition of 2K with the Pat. What?